I'm in a gondola going up a mountain. You know what it'd be a good time for? Uh, so I'm going up into the Sawtooth Mountains. You maybe never heard of those. You probably heard of the Rocky Mountains. Now, the Rocky Mountains are about 65 million years old, maybe as much as 80 million years old. That seems old to us, but that's only as old as when the last dinosaurs were here. 65 million years ago is when the uh, dinosaurs went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous time period. The Rocky Mountains are rocky because they're young. They haven't eroded away. Now, the Appalachian Mountains over on the East Coast, those are much older mountains. They're about 500 million years old, which seems like a really long time, and it is pretty long. But the mountains we're going up into are the Sawtooth Mountains. They are some of the oldest mountains on Earth. They are 1.1 billion years old. That's back in the Precambrian. There weren't even any dinosaurs back then. These mountains are here because of the mid-continental rift. You know, at one point, our continent almost split completely in half and rifted apart. And during that time, there was lava flowing out making these mountains. It lasted for about, for about 50 million years. If it had gone on any longer, the continent would have split in half. Turns out this is the largest failed rift in the world. It didn't get quite big enough for the actual continent to split in half. We do now have Lake Superior because of it. And you know, if it had kept on rifting all those years ago, instead of going up into a mountain to see Lake Superior, we'd actually be going up and taking a look at the ocean.